pollo, 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 one of the few people who actually got it in the first wave, so I'm quite excited. Plug-in, power on. Yeah, that, 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 yes, that's how it usually works. Um, hmm. Hey, companion cube style. Power adapter, that's cute. We have the power brick. And ta ta da da. It seems like it's in the carrying case. Oh, yeah, I probably should have mentioned this before. This is the 512 gigabyte model with the anti glare screen. Your games are going places. Let's hope so. Wow, that's quite a nice carrying case, actually. Wow, okay. Da 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 da. Holy shit, that's beautiful. Wow, that's way lighter than I imagined. What the heck? We have a nice, what is this, uh, wiping cloth. And yeah, very sturdy carrying case. I'm very happy with that. Okay, let's see. First time turning this thing on. Let's... Oh yeah. We should probably follow what the giant attention paper said. Plug in, then power on. So give me one second. Ta -da. It's USB C. It's plugged in. It's power on. Power on. There we go. You can see my face. It... Huh. Took a few minutes for it to boot up, but here it is. So, English, obviously. Ooh, ooh, I like the feel of these hepti what, what touch pads or what are they called? Wi-Fi. Tuck. Tuck. Ooh, I'm so excited! So far, it's not making a single sound. I'm gonna be curious how it sounds like when the game is running. Okay, looks like it's almost done. Let's see what happens. Oh, it actually started to make a sound. The fans have kicked in. Noise. Um, didn't we do this before? Hello? Yes. Yes. Cool. Now I need to sign in with my Steam account. Give me one second. 
He's so excited! Come on, come on, I wanna play! Welcome to the Steam Deck. Okay. Eh, oh, okay. Volume buttons. Perfect. Micro SD slot, which I'll see if I need more expansion beyond the uh, 512 gigs I have. Have fun. Thank you. Let's go library. Do we have great on deck? Yeah, this is what I was looking for. So we already have a great on deck option for a library. And I'm gonna look for Cuphead. Tip, you can play this game remotely without installing. So I could just stream it from the PC, which I will try for some heavier games, but Cuphead should run just fine natively. So this is cool. It notified me of a system update and actually tells me, congrats, I have the first one of the first team decks off the factory floor. Okay. Wow, okay. Oh, there's gotta be so many custom firmwares for this thing. I, I can't wait to see what the community comes up with. Man, I, I still can't get over how wide it is. Let me actually, you know what? Ah, oh, and I missed that. So just for comparison, here's a Nintendo Switch. It's barely heavier than the Switch, which is quite incredible. Valve is still learning about the game. We do not currently have information yet. Yeah, just install it. These two games are compatible with controller. It should work out of the box, but we'll see. Okay, just install the Proton layer, since I don't actually have a native Linux distribution of this game. Let's see if it works. Huh? So far, so good. Okay, so I'm playing through the camera viewfinder, which is kind of awkward. But let's see. Okay, D-pad works. Thumb pad works. Even the touchpad thingy works, somehow. Holy crap, the sound is pretty freaking amazing. I'm quite happy with how well that works. Wow, okay. So now if I want to switch a game, how do I... I do like this. I go to my library. I can go here. I can just... Running multiple games launch anyway or switch. Wow, okay. Sure. And it's still running in the back. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, I actually do want to exit it. Yep. So this thing. Yep. 
I can use the touchpad as the mouse because I don't actually have controller inputs for the menu and it automatically detected that. That's freaking amazing. Uh, the controls are not working. But in theory, this is where I should... Hmm. Okay, stop, 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 stop. I should be able to change the controller settings. Holy shit, the touch screen works right. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Granted, this game is way easier on a keyboard, but the important part is, it works. Ah, shit. Okay, it works. I'm very happy with that. Okay, exit game. And lastly, let's try out uh, Cuphead. I gotta see the con the controls are quite comfortable so far. We'll see how well it fares with longer play sessions. Yep, and it has my save files as well. Amazing. Wow, that sounds amazing. Oh boy. I haven't played this game in a while, can you tell? Shit. There we go. Yeah, so far it's comfortable. We'll see how well it ho that holds up. A uh, boo. Okay, and then if I want to quit, just tuck, exit, yep. That's freaking amazing. So let's see, we have brightness settings here. Apparently it can go really dark. So you can limit your frame rate to 30. Okay, this should be, if I understood correctly, when you're in a game. 
Holy shit, that's amazing. So you get all, all of the amazing benchmark info right built in. Wow, that's, that's freaking amazing. And if that's too much, you can reduce it, reduce it. You want to get some basic information or let's see, I can limit the frame rate to 30. Limit. Limits processor power for less total power, manual GPU clock control. Scaling filter. So now apparently it's limited to 30 FPS. Oh yeah, ooh, ah, wow, okay. Yeah, this game really isn't optimized for 30 FPS. Uh, yeah, that's, wow. And I can just bring up a keyboard, wow, okay. Sweet. What else was there here? Library store, media download, settings. I wanna see what settings we have. Let's. I, please, yes, thank you. You can actually select your Proton version, that's pretty cool. Developer mode. I mean, I am a developer, so... Okay, you can enable offline mode, that's good. Display, adapt to brightness, no thank you. Night mode, night mode tent. Wow. Show me one handheld device that gives you this much control over anything. <laughs> nice. Storage. So we have about 460 gigabytes out of the 520 that is usable for games. That's good. <laughs> Ah, that's so cool! 